Ladies and gents, welcome to Celtic Mind, episode 16. I can't believe we actually made it that far in the, the podcast, but we have, and we've kept it going. Um, it's surprising very well. We've got a quiz today, we've got Twitter questions, actually the first time on the podcast, so I'm excited about that. And what was the result is making its return. Yes, um, but Lewis, um, let's start with a bit of transfer news, actually. It came out on Monday afternoon. According to the Daily Record, one or two clubs in Italy I ran up my move for Vasilis Barkas, and I'm thinking. I can guess her. Right. One of them's going to be Torino. They've just lost Salvatore Sidigo. C- it doesn't say, but. And I guess the other one would be Genoa. Obviously, it doesn't say, but those are the clubs I think. The first thought, I was thinking, are they actually blind? Are they. <laughs> that was just my he first thought. He can keep thought. playing until he's 35. Um, he's the big question is, Lewis, uh, I've probably answered it before on the channel. Does Barkas deserve one last chance? Or is it time for Celtic to cut their losses on the Greek keeper? I mean, you look at when they signed them last summer, £5 million. Pounds, you could say it went down the drain, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's time to cut our losses because not only did he spend £5 million, pounds, he also paid for a year of wages. Oh, yep. Yep. Right. Um, also, also, obviously, Austin Edward is apparently very close. I think it's Brighton. Um, he's going to. Yeah. Apparently, obviously, he's, getting only, he's only got left less than 12 months on his contract. Lewis, do you see him going to Brighton if, I mean, there's been links, I did a video yesterday on the channel, guys, Thomas Henri, he's French, he plays in the Belgium League, um, Celtic apparently going to spend £7 million on him, so, if you're thinking that, so I PSG are going to get, so Brighton are going to pay £19 million, so PSG obviously going to get the money back for Edwards, that's £9 million, mm. Celtic are going to be left with £10 million. is that a good off, you know, yeah. Thomas Henri, I'll give you a bit of facts right now, actually, he's scored 3-3 three three so far this season, he's actually problem. scored... 45 goal is it 45 goals in 85 games mm. that's a decent stats to be honest with you isn't it but we'll move on to i mean sunday's game loss i mean kyogo furuhashi it came to you on a report blown away by celtic park as he insists dream debut will live with me forever and Lewis, what's your thought i'll read about this in a minute but the twenty three thousand fans seen a hat-trick oh, debut I've got to see good player <laughs> um he was keen to thank the Celtic supporters for a warm re- reception as a former Vissel Kobe star reflected on a m- monumentous day in his career. Um, I'll read a what, just a wee bit what you said about you know his debut at Celtic Park. I had a really bright day and it was really a joy to play my first match at Celtic Park in front of our fans. It was my first real experience of a great stadium and it will love me forever. I mean, you've seen the title, we did obviously did the three things we around video loose. Is that more to come from Manch Bosco? Is that what we got to see from him? Is it? This man... Uh- is probably the best striker to come out of the A-League. He's he's had the best ever team in the A-League. He's won the Asian Cup, which is basically the Asian Euros. He got Australia into the World Cup. Yeah. I mean, what else can you make in your debut? I felt like Edward, you know, coming on the part for Furuhashi must feel that... I mean, I mean, he's not really bored, to be honest, he wants away. But, you know... But, you know... I, not, one good, dec- not one bad player on, on Sunday to, at all. Joe Hart didn't have much to do. That's because of the defence. We started finally with Christ. We start Welsh and Starfield. This is what happens when you start Welsh. Yeah, I mean, you probably want. I'm. I'm going to ask you a question. As you asked me in FIFA the other day, oh, you can ask me back in a minute. You know, what if your positions wise and you can afford them? Obviously, literally afford them, right? Um, what positions are you looking for? Like, for example, d- mid defenders, right backs, or left backs. What are you looking for? What be depth wise, left back. Yeah. Um, not I even a depth left back. We need an entire new left back. Yeah. I'd also go for striker getting this bit on his backup. Yeah, and also Anthony Rawson getting another chance at Celtic. I mean, this time he's some right back. He turned into prime. I don't know who's a prime right back. Danny Alves. I mean, we can all we can, all we can say is somebody made this song into it. Oh my Christ! Just listen. Here we go, you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was just good. Twenty-one thousand views. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think a good part's coming up. <laughs> it's bleeped. <laughs> 
It's not even gonna get copyrighted because it's not even a, an actual song, so. Oh, I see. <laughs> One in a row. <laughs> oh, that was a great. That's actually a great song. But honestly, I was getting getting up in second chance, Lewis. What were your thoughts of the highlights you've seen? I've got to say about League's joint top scorer. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, and I was looking, listening on Monday. Uh, was it Monday? Yeah. Um, all the Japanese experts and journalists are saying that there's more to come from Furashi. Like this is his brilliant age. There's don't not just don't just expect one hat trick and that's it. You you expect more from him. Um, Central this crime. Yeah. I'd be surprised if he didn't get a call up for the national team. Yeah. Um. So let's move on to. So Ange Bosco, when asked if Eduard had told him he wanted to leave, the Aussie responded, I haven't had that discussion with him. It's not a discussion I'm going to have with players. If they don't want to be part of what happened today, there's nothing I can do to convince them. That's a question for Odson. It's not a question for me. I know mean, you just look up in the party's attitude, you know. He made a couple of good passes, but you know, I mean, they'll do that the whole game, you know what I mean? Uh, but let's move on to, uh, I was on Twitter actually, I, I don't know if I've got actually the video, but Vasilis Barca's Celtic warm-up uh, to the Dundee game has fans fuming as Greek goalkeeper stat statue stat yeah I'm, I can't pronounce names display captured the Greek took part in training drill before the Dundee route and appeared disinterested as Park Head um, given his biggest crit critics as describing as yeah. goalkeeper that doesn't make saves or as Lewis calls him um, Hallgram hands yes maybe it shouldn't be any surprise great surprise but some ego eyed Celtic fans were still amazed at the apparent Lack of effort shown by Barkas during yeah, a warm-up drill. Yeah, I've heard a lot about his lack of effort in training recently. A clip of routine emerged on social media showing the Greek stopper looking disinterested sparked a huge reaction from Parkhead supporters. He is seemingly making no attempt to get a succession of shots which flew past him as he stands rooted to the spot during a shooting drill. I mean, Barkas has suffered a disastrous time in Glasgow following a big money switch from AG Athens and Joe Arsarabo was set, set to speed up with, you know, Exit for him. Could just you know. be how he always plays now. Yeah, and he wasn't even on the bench bar cash on Sunday, and that's My something God. for Scott Bain. Um, somebody said um, on Twitter to the goalkeeper that there is an unhappy at not playing and there's just not giving a. <laughs> I can't believe Bain we signed a, a scarecrow for five million. See, if you ask me, Bain is the perfect backup. Sure, he's short. But he's happy to be back up. Yeah, um, however, one jumped to defend the Barkas, I don't know who was defending him, but insisted it was merely part of a drill and it was keepers are purposely told not to make much effort. Is that, is that what our defensive coach are saying? Barkas, just don't make an effort, would you? Just stand there, would you? <laughs> Somebody said on Twitter, this is a shooting drill. He's just there to provide goalkeeping position context for shots and he's purposely told not to make too much effort no, so he can face more shots. Short shots? Thanks, this guy needs to spell. He needs to go to bloody and bloody spell with that. You could you think Stevie Woods goalkeeper and coach would just stand and uh, watch do that? If you know. This guy doesn't make sense. Celtic fans patience. I mean, well, I mean just ourselves. So it's already worn that thin, but he could soon be on the move with reports linking Barkas with a move to Italy. We're right loose. Um, I think it's so. <laughs> Barkas said it's still just not good for the attackers either. Their face, they can shoot however they want. He's just yeah. going to stand there. It's He's just standing there. It's so time for the ultimate himself. story. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. I've, I've heard this two times already. Like It's hilarious. It's prime. Right. I think Nina wants to do this, this stuff, right? I just, it's a hilarious story I've I seen on Twitter, right? Just give like 30 so. seconds or something <laughs> if you don't want to hear this. <laughs> so, right. So, Barkas is Jesus, right? He's carrying the cross up, right? Right. And he's going up and he falls the first time. Scott Bain helps him up. And he goes the second time. Connor Hazard comes up. <laughs> and then obviously he gets crossed, right? Right? So, I've not got a clue. I've not got, got, I've not got, I've not got a clue, like but Barabbas, free Barabbas. <laughs> it's Joe Hart's the Russian. Free Joe Hart, free Joe Hart. Right? <laughs> so they end up getting him out, and obviously Barkas is um, nailed to the cross, and he. If he comes down again, he's going to be a brilliant goalkeeper. I, I have no belief in that. The words I've just said in my life, but moving on. I have that no belief that that, that ever existed. <laughs> my my mind is like. Free Joe Hart. Free Joe Hart. 
Wait, Joe Hart is the best goalie I've seen in a season. Right, the question was, series. who's Judas? For the goalie coaches at this rate, Brendan Rodgers. That was my goalkeeper, Doris, Doris de Vries, my goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Remember him, Doris de Vries? Mm. Um, but Lewis, Ryan Christie on Sunday, the nutmeg to get for Ash's second goal. Do you think he deserves an hour contract, maybe an extension to his contract, yeah? Yes. Um, he looked like a, I don't know. Looked like a different man. Yeah, he's, four, he's worth 4.5 million. Front man made a dazzling home debut as he struck a stunning hat trick in the six mile demolition, like, um, uh, of assists, actually. Uh, that's, pretty, that's actually really good, isn't it? That's really good. Both were on the same talk as the last episodes. <laughs> A new deal remains on the table and the club are open to talks and Poscoglu would love the Scotland star to stay longer. Um, you know, Lewis, obviously, people have been saying it all the time that last season he was getting played on the right-hand side and everybody, even including us, were saying that, of, like, you know what I mean, that he was getting yeah. played out of position, why are you playing that, right? But he's getting played out of position on the left-hand side and he's playing prime. Yeah. Like, pff, one, how did you expect that one? Oh, he's looking up Barkas' stats. In the SPFL Championship group, Barkas played twice, made one save, but he had two clean sheets. <laughs> he was expected to concede almost two goals. <laughs> and in the SPFL, in 13 matches, he conceded 10 goals. Okay, He was expected to concede 11.16, so he, he was a bit better than what was expected. He made 14 saves, he didn't save the, either of the two penalties and he had 6 clean sheets. So in the matches he did play, he just conceded a whole load of goals that when he did So I'll get some... So the difference between Edward and Cowgo is probably in their management and coaching motivation. In their motivation, sorry. Edward's for the money. Yeah. Kyogo's just happy to be here. Yeah. As brilliant as today's form was, you know, you can't help feeling a few among our support obviously getting slightly yeah. carried away, you know. But we need to be doing this on a, on a constant basis as yeah. McGregor. Put the the whole the huddle at the end of the game at full time, I thought that yeah. was really good. He's saying keep doing this every yeah. every week, you know, we want this performance every week. And um I, I think if Kyogo has another three goals every week, he'll end up breaking the goal scoring record. The potent yeah. Anywhere. The important thing is that the board backs Postcoggle and they get in what they need in terms of players recruitment. As well as the sports science and so give him a few yeah. new backroom staff. Um, the one thing I've got Lewis. Um, What's up with this tablet? Like, what does <laughs> pretend this is the tablet? Man's just going on Twitter Whoa. talking to his mate Dave. <laughs> Guess who's back, guys? He's back. It's Gordon Stratton, my Christ, Lewis. Five. Oh, how how the hell we've got more Strattons than a right a left back, an actual good left back, or a a bloody depth in our team. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. Um. Damn. So, Sunsport understands the former Hoops boss has agreed a deal to return to club as a senior advisor role, and he starts today. Did he even tell you what a senior advisor does? Um. Gordon Stratton is a senior role at Celtic 21 in the work of none other than crazy Uncle Dermot. Dermot Desmond, of course. Well heard in a rant on Celtic TV last year, he was a great football and successful manager, but the game moved on. To modernise, you need to, you need forward thinking problem solvers. Gordon Stratton, famous words. Um, a senior advisor for a new manager, Andrew Postcog, according reports. Um, this has been touted for quite some time, but it has been denied by a couple of officials. Uh, let me just see what it is about, actually. Gordon Stratton actually won three titles on the bounce of Celtic and got them beyond, obviously, group stage of the Champions League. Um, Someone will have to explain to us what Gordon's remit and will will be, and hopefully is there to be a help Ange mm. and not to step on his toes. Hopefully, we can hope. We can only hope. We we'll get some before we move on to other stories in a minute, guys. Some eye catching numbers from Sunday's win against Dundee. Fura Ashes at now averages five point five nine shots per 90, 90 m. I'm going to pretend I know what that means. Minutes. Yeah, everyone from everyone from outside inside the box. That's mad, isn't it? Considering his movement of the ball, like yeah. as well. Um, early days, yeah, but great performance yesterday. It's just some comments mm -hmm. that I got from my friends in the video. Let's see where we are in a few months in the bad weather hits and the in the terrible patches that obviously Rangers. Mom just like disappears. <laughs> Lewis, Mal, <Mal-mo>. Mal. <laughs> my arm is gone. 
Um, but it was a big improvement from Tumble, I thought, on Sunday. He got yeah. an assist, or the assist, three or four times in that game. I expect him to play like that every week now. I really do. Um, but I seen somewhere, Lewis, I said it on Sunday in the Three Things We Learn video. Wake me up uh, before you go, go. Who needs Eddie when you've got Kyogo? Kyogo. <laughs> Kyogo. Um, these are some Ryan Christie stats on against Dundee on Sunday. 100% take on success, 80 touches, 8 chances created, 6 duels won, 5 shots, 4 crosses, 3 big chances created and 3 assists. What a performance he's made. Tumble, let's look at some of his stats. He's played 2 matches, he's made 6 key passes and he's made 6 chances. He, he's got 125 accurate passes. Really? Which is 92% of all his passes. He's had... He's been pretty good anyway. Can we announce Barkas alone watch, please? Please. So obviously, Barkas was obviously out the Celtic squad yesterday against Dundee. One or two clubs are actually on the verge of making inquiries to the Greece International goalkeeper. Jermaine Turner, Jermaine Turner, Shrewsbury Town, nah, I think that's Turkey's national team logo. Um, but Lewis, moving on to the player I was talking about for Edward's replacement, Thomas Henri, is reported to be on high on Celtic's wanting list. No reports tonight suggest the deal is very close, and Henri is set to join us in a deal reported in the region of 6 million or 7 million right now at region. Henri is a 6 four foot, uh, six foot four target man. Something which um, I think we need more high up front. Henri scored 21 goals last term for his club OH Levon in Belgium. Hmm. I think he could be good. Yeah, he's 26 Massive as well. difference between him and Kyogo. Yeah, actually the Frenchman has got 45 goals in 78 games, assisting 12 times in the time. Hmm. Um, I've got a word, word from this unit. It's too late to get excited about rumours, but if we get him, I think I'll be happy about Yogo. She ain't going to be happy. Very. Um, we're almost time for the quiz. Almost, almost, almost. Just go. So, actually, Greek side Pacock, as well as an unnamed Italian side, are interested in ending Barca's stay in Glasgow. Barca's favours a move from Greece. Um, Celtic will seek a loan fee, an option to buy in the event of a deal being struck. Um, and it comes here from a journalist. Pacock and a club from Italy are interested. Barca's pri- Barca's priority is not to come back in Greek Super League and play abroad. But you never know, Celtic demand a loan fee plus an option to mm. buy. Um, but we've got another transfer talk video, Lewis. Uh, transfer talk video? Another interesting transfer discussion. Josip Uran- uh, Uranovic is one step away, apparently, from joining Celtic. After a loss against Dynamo in the Champions League qualification, um, Lega Warsaw finally decided to sell one of their best players. Uranovic played 10 times for his club fees around mm. 3 million euros. I hope that looks interesting, eh? I'm not much I can say, never heard of I don't, I don't, I've not actually heard of myself. He's played for Lego Warsaw. I said actually mm. played him in the Champions League qualifiers. They actually get banned out because they played a, a player who was actually suspended, so mm. we actually get through. Um, I'm not actually sure what he is. Let me check. You can check. There we go. He's Croatian. I like that. There we go. Sky Sports report. Consider move. Right back. I mean, we need depth loose. I mean, you need to, Ralston's going to perform. See if he's going to perform every week. Fair play, right? But still there to get that competition there. Thanks. Um, that competition there. Just to just keep make sure he's still playing that way and he wants to fight for that first team right back position. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But for me, Taylor loose. You always hope that a player, when he comes in, that he's going to do well, right? But yeah, Just sack him. It's just, it didn't work out, so I did think it? it might be about time to move on to what was the result. Um, yeah, I think we are. Let me just, um, that's okay, that's the quiz song. We'll uh, be heading to the 1967-70 season. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just making sure you know the season. So, what's the season? 1967-68, the season after Celtic won the Champions League. Really? Yeah. Damn, I don't know, I was just, what was I saying, really? What was I saying, really? Here we go, 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 here we go. What's the result? Here we go. So, Celtic played a team which I believe is Dundee. Okay. I can't see it clearly. What was the result? 
Oh, oh Christ. Um, at home? Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Okay. Celtic 3 0. Mm. 5 for Celtic, 3 to Dundee. Chalmers scored Oof. 2. Lennox scored once. And I think some guy called Wallace scored once. Damn. Uh, but let's move on before we hit the quiz, Lewis. That was actually a good entertainment yeah. for the day. Um, Europa League second leg, full stadium are back. Oh mate, I can't wait. I can't wait to be back tomorrow night. Match vlogs are back, guys. Make sure you have no keep notifications on the channel because it's going to be an exciting game tomorrow. If we play the way we did against Sunday, I see it in double figures and aggregate. <laughs> I see it happening. Uh, hopefully it does. Uh, fingers crossed. We just get over the line because you know it's still Celtic. You know, end of the day, four two in aggregate. Funny how Rangers went out 4-2 and I get the man one, but you know, it's just, uh, you know, you know. Um, Lewis, what's your score prediction for tomorrow night? 4-2 and I get, just, you don't need to say the aggregate score, just on the... 4-0 Celtic. 4-0 Celtic, I've got to agree with you, Lewis. I think Kyle will go for a hash, he's going to start, he's going to hit a hat trick again. I was going to say, I think <laughs> Kyle will go for a hat trick, he's going to hit another <laughs> one. Um, Canadian. But I'm looking forward to doing the match fogs back again, guys, and they'll be up as soon as I'll they can. I'll be watching know. them. <laughs> Uh, but I think it is time. Um, what is the quiz? Actually. So, guys, how this works is we're going to change it up this week, right? So, we'll get five questions each this time. Lewis is going to ask me five questions first, and then um, he's going to, I'm going to ask him five questions. Whoever wins at the end is obviously the winner. So, are you ready, Lewis? Of course. Uh, so, the five questions to you, and then I'll delete them, and then not, and then I'll ch check the answers. And then you ask me the questions, right? So we'll find out the answers that the the scores at the end, okay guys, you get it? So this is based on Dundee and going to Europe this season, okay? A jab on sorry as well. How many chances did Ange Postcoglu make to the start in a loving from the midweek win over FK Jablonek? You've got four You mean changes? Yes. You've got four possible answers. Five, one, three, or four. Four. Close, Lewis. It was actually three changes. It was Ryan Christie, was <laughs> Ryan Christie, Tom Rogic, and Stephen Welsh returned to the lineup. And number two, how many ex Celts were in the Dundee lineup? This is that was a hard one. Um, zero, three, two, or one? Two. <laughs> you wouldn't believe really it's three actually. <laughs> <laughs> McMullen, McGowan, and Sheridan. I didn't know that as well. How many minutes did it take Kyle go? to break the deadlock on his home debut so his first goal was it 5 minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes or 10 minutes I think it was 15 between 15 or 20 15 final answer yeah 20 minutes literally have you got any right so far no question 4 <laughs> who set up Kyogo's third goal with a sensational defence splitting pass was it Leo Bada Ryan Christie we talked about in the, the po the earlier in the, the podcast Cal McGregor or Tom Logic Ryan Christie. Correct, Lewis. One out of four. Can you make it two out of five? <laughs> Who's the last player to score a hat trick for the hoop? So, Moyle and Nussi, Lee Griffiths, James Forrest, or Oddson Edward? Edward. I'll give you a clue. It's between El Yunus or Lee Griffiths. Griffiths. Sure. I think in the 2020, Lewis, you remember after a lot, you know, that was before lockdown. I'm just thinking, I'll give you that. I'm just getting close here. It's not. El Yunus? Yeah. Two out of five, Lewis. Well done. I've gave you the score anyway. It's two out of five. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yep. Okay. You ready for my questions? Uh, as ready as I can possibly be at this. I'm just deleting. I can't see the answer, of course. Here. Okay. I'm right. Here we go. Question one. Here we go. Lewis well, got two out of five. Score after an hour of the game. Three nil. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Anthony Ralston scored the boys' fifth goal with a fine finish. Who got the assist? Ryan Christie, David Turnbull, right. Leo Abada, or James Forrest? So James Forrest, Dave, he came on for somebody in the he came on the left hand side. I think it's James Forrest. Correct. Yeah. Kyogo was replaced by Edward in the 69th funny minute. <laughs> How long did it take the Frenchman to get on the score sheet? 12, 15, 10, or 20 minutes? <sighs> right, so he came on. 20 minutes? Correct. <laughs> he last hit six at Celtic Park against which side? Livingston, Kilmarnock, KR Rekajevic, or Hamilton Athies? Rekovic? Wrong, Livingston. Still got that. Oh, so it did, it was April Day, John, John Lennady. Yeah. Oh, I think you 
Yeah, you know, them. Yeah. Adam Montgomery came on as a second half sub against Dundee. Who did he make his debut against last season? Hamilton, Aberdeen, St Johnston or Hearts? Saint, I remember this very well because I did the watch along for it was St Johnston. Correct, 4 out of 5. Oh yeah, it's a double Lewis' score, <laughs> I can believe that. And obviously I've got to, I've got to create it, the sacred Barkas. Mate, that's nothing compared to what I did. Oh yeah, to Ange, I've still got it actually, where is it? It used to just be Ange, but now it's... Now it says Furuhashio for Edward and it's got... Right, Lewis, on there. to the end yeah, of the good. podcast, which is the Twitter questions, the favourite part of the stream. The stream, the, the podcast, sorry. No, no, what's the results of this part? <laughs> oh, I don't. Has Roderick, for you, Lewis, or, you know, we can discuss together, has Roderick made a claim to be in the starting 11 on Thursday or do we have an anchor in midfield, sla- Sorrow slash McCarthy? The thing is, I've not seen McCarthy play, so I would rather he gets playtime right now and then if he's no good, then I think Rogic should play. I think Rogic's going to play, you know, Australian to Australian. I think he's, you know, he's done really well to be honest, got back in yeah, the team. Yeah, but I think he, McCarthy should play. Um, I think we should give McCarthy some minutes, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, is Kevin Nisbet the right man to bring in up front, or should we be looking at someone who can play striker slash left winger? With the amount of signings we need at right, but uh, at back, sorry, i.e. three minimum, I think we would be lucky to get another two in the attacking position. You're already looking at Tom Lee, of course, so... Yeah. Doing Kevin Nisbet, it's on cheap low sank Celtic surely because they got to go from. I'm pretty sure Nisbet was out with starting for us in the Euros. He came on pretty good. Yeah, he came on. A yep, lot, came so. on. Do you think we need a new left back more than a right back now as Ralston's actually yes. stepped up to the plate and impressed as opposed to Nobody Taylor? Nobody thought Ralston would come good, but my god, Taylor plays worse than me at left back <laughs> and I don't even play at left back. Do you think Ange will rotate the team every week or do you think he'll kind of stick an 11 he feels it the best? I I'm gonna think he'll experiment with it. I think he'll stay, he'll try and keep the, be- he'll try and keep the line I up. I think he'll like, keep it as close as possible yes. but seeing like, uh, like the weakest part of the team like Welsh is now replaced Beaton, so like the weak part of the team, excluding left back, we don't have a solution yet. Um, I actually guessed the score mm-hmm. against Dundee in the preview. I said, oh, Dreamland 6-0 it would be. Also, I, I, I said Dreamland 6-0 and it came through, didn't it? Um, and somebody said, any more correct score tips from Liam? Uh, <laughs> just got to, just, you know, up there. Just going to, you know, just up there, you know. Uh, is Kyle Kofour actually the greatest player to ever grace this planet? Yes. <laughs> Speaking now, of Kyle Gofour Hashi on a planet... <laughs> I've got some of these for everything because I found an app. I'm not sure how well it will show on screen. Apparently not at all. You can see how we but you can see how we but. Do you think Lewis going into the next round of the playoffs, right? Uh, Celtic can beat AZ Altmar comfortably if they play the way they did against Dundee every week. What do you think? Can if they... we played the way against yeah. Dundee every week, we'd win the league yeah. over and over. Break goal scoring records. Go yep. invincible. Yeah, this is a good question from Adam. He says. Think we should sign a left wing, or a, or will Christie play there until January? And do you think he will sign a new deal? So go on to the new deal first, Chris, for Christie. Christie. Hopefully we get the Christie deal over on. And all honestly, I think it depends on where what the offer for, from other teams for him. Is End of the day, game. money, money talks, uh, players walk. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? But I think he should play on left wing. Do you think we should still sign a left winger because we don't have actual left winger? I mean, Kyle can play there, but he looks a lot, lot yeah. gooder than Stryker. I'm thinking, if it really comes down to it, I wouldn't even mind, like, seeing um, Mc, um Taylor there, see if he's any good. Mm. Obviously, Kyle can play there, so if he had mm-hmm. Nisbet's backup, I don't think he'd miss his mm-hmm. goal-scoring prowess as much. So, obviously, the big question is, Lewis, obviously, outstanding performance on Sunday. Somebody says a really good question as well. How does McCarthy fit in this team now? I think he could still walk in at this team perfectly. You mean over maybe Rogic? <laughs> over Rogic maybe? Yeah, well, they, they play very different roles. I mean, Rogic's really good. There was a Rod feet. Yeah. He was like that on Sunday. He was absolutely excellent. But I'd say McCarthy would probably take a more sorrowish role. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can't tell you. As right, so as, this guy must name it because he almost almost watched the chat, mm. watched the channel, the, the transfer talk. But he says, "Is it Liam?" Um, Fabrizio beats Romano in disguise. <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. It is a good question. I'd be kind of worried if you if you were. <laughs> I just like to update you guys, and probably I'm probably uh, maybe I'm in disguise. But that was great Twitter questions. I thought it was really good, and the quiz was really good as well. But 
Uh, seriously though, if you are Fabrizio Romano, this is a bit weird. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow, for the first time since March 2020, I was the last vlog we ever, the match day vlog we've done, was it 5 0 win against um, St Mirren? Uh, Lee Griffiths got a hat trick, actually, knew that one. 60,000 fans will be back at Celtic Park to watch Celtic take on Javelin 8 in the Europe League really third round, second leg. Mm. Lewis, I'm going to ask, like, team wise, do you think that Ange Bosco will stick with the team as compared to Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He should. Well, he should, yeah. Hopefully, he should, yeah. Although, I'm hoping McCarthy can get a Yeah, couple yeah. Well, as long as he's fit, yeah. As long as yeah. he's fit and he's ready. Um, but. Do you know what, Lewis? You said 4 now, I'm going to go 5 now. Why not? <laughs> be adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> if I get this right, or Lewis gets this right, oh my god, it'd be great. But, oh, that was a great quiz, Lewis. And I think, obviously, we'll end off the the podcast here. I mean, Lewis, obviously, we're going to miss the... So, we'll probably do a podcast next week after the, obviously, Thursday night game and, obviously, yeah. Sunday's game against Hearts. We're going to as well, the League Cup yeah, game. It will probably be on Discord. Yeah, so the fingers crossed. Well, we'll be uh, through against Hearts Revenge and Hearts the League Cup on Sunday. Um, but I think that's it. that funny story was great, though. Revenge for what they did. Free Joe Hart. <laughs> this is for Hazard. Ah, the second time he falls in the cross corner, Hazard picks him in, honestly. Anyway. Would you shut <laughs> up about that? It's the funniest story I've ever heard in my life. It doesn't even make sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> we'll see you guys this in is a. That's what you sign up for on this channel.